Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a fake access point or a honeypot. Hackers have been using this technique in order to steal sensitive information from the people. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video is I'm gonna talk about you know it's all about fake access point slash honeypot slash slash or rogue Wi-Fi you can say that well why would a hacker create a fake access point well the answer is simple right people love free stuff and when it's a free Wi-Fi free Wi-Fi then you can imagine the scenario a fake access point generally does not contain any preserved key or uh, security key. So, when people find out a free Wi-Fi, lots of people will join and do their work, like using social media, banking transactions, etc. But behind the scene, hackers are collecting all the information of the users. Okay, so. If you want to learn how it's done, watch the video till end without downloading and forwarding. Okay, now let's begin how to do so. But before, have you subscribed to this channel? Oh, if not, go hit subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. And in advance, press the like button. Before we get started, let me be clear with you guys. This video is only for educational and informational purpose okay this channel and i personally does not support any illegal activity of yours so i'm doing this in my own controlled environment and you do so for the practice purpose for the pen testing purpose or for the educational purpose only all right now here i have started my kali machine and all you need a tool called linux wi-fi hotspot and a wi-fi adapter which supports ap mode access point mode I mean. the tool uh, linux wi-fi hotspot does not come pre-installed in kali you have to install it manually and as you can see here i am not going to show you how to install it you guys you know you guys uh, now can handle on your own but install the dependencies first and install the tool as you can see in the tools github page you can find the instructions here now i have also connected my wi-fi adapter to this machine you can start the tool from searching here linux oops wi-fi hotspot this is the one or you can simply type y hotspot on the terminal okay now my virtual machine is configured in a nat network if i type uh let's say if config and if i press enter this ats0 is working as LAN in my virtual machine and uh, since it's in uh, NAT network my main computer my host uh, my host computer I mean my main computer is the router acting as a router and my Kali machine my virtual machine is uh, acting as a, another computer and uh, so it is connected in ETS0 and acting like a LAN okay now apart from that my WLAN 0 or my Wi-Fi adapter is connected separately and as you can see it has its own IP assigned also okay now uh, here as you can see ETS 0 is the interface my Kali machine is used to access the internet now this tool will provide free Wi-Fi internet from the Wi-Fi adapter WLAN 0 but the source internet will be from the ETS0 okay and in order to do this you must have internet running on your machine with a LAN or another Wi-Fi adapter 
even if you have another Wi-Fi adapter but you cannot use same Wi-Fi adapter to create access point and use the internet both at the same time so if you have another Wi-Fi adapter you can use that for uh, you know to connect the internet to have internet connection and that connection can be provided with the another adapter which supports AP mode okay before creating this access point make sure your adapter is not connected to any network let me see if my adapter is connected so i'm gonna clear this terminal i'm gonna here and disconnect so my adapter is free now and now let's start our tool y y hotspot and press enter and here you can put a name for your wi-fi and uh, you know what attracts the most people the word free so i simply put that and for the password you can check open but if you uncheck this and you can put the password but you know as i told you before people love free stuff so keep it open so you don't the you know people doesn't have to put any password then the wi-fi interface is wlan 0 and my uh, wireless adapter is WLAN 0 which supports the AP mode and the internet interface is ETS 0 as you can see here and if you toggle here you can change different sort of parameter here like uh, frequency band and uh, you can also set MAC address or preset key hidden something like this even you can uh, you know define channel get away different types of options are here so but i'm not gonna use the any of this option so i will you know just uh, keep it like this and simply i'm going to click on create hotspot now it's running running as pid 4634 now since it has Wi-Fi cre created a Wi-Fi, I'm gonna connect my smartphone in this Wi-Fi. And as you can see my smartphone has been connected to this Wi-Fi now I'm gonna open a browser And if I go to google.com It's simply gonna work because you know it has a free Wi-Fi and also internet is accessible so this is good now what makes this you know really uh, dangerous or really vulnerable well the problem is if a hacker can create Wi-Fi like this that means lots of people will be using this sort of thing but what can the hacker do then now the hacker can simply sniff your packets or the all the information going through your devices to the internet he can sniff that sniff the packet capture the packet and oh my god there are, you cannot imagine other things that an attacker and a hacker can do so i'm gonna demonstrate you something so i'm simply gonna open wireshark here wireshark now 
keep your eye on this interface WLAN 0 it's not spiking up okay but if I if I do something in my smartphone it will spike up see as you can see if I do something you know uh, like landscapes I'm gonna search landscapes As you can see it is spiking up why because somebody is definitely using this internet okay now if I select this WLAN 0 and start capturing and analyze the every packet that has been captured then you can imagine okay suppose if I you know uh, the uh, victim uh, visits to visits to some site like i'm gonna use volweb.com and i'm trying i'll try to log in and i logged into my uh, account in volweb.com so imagine this you know if you are using something else okay I'm not gonna do uh, okay so this is good now what you can do you can simply apply filter here over here simply type HTTP and press enter now it will only show the HTTP request that has been uh, sent through this uh, internet uh, this uh, 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 interface or uh, that has been captured from this interface okay let's sir and I think I'm I'm gonna look in a uh, look into this okay double click on it and uh, let's see it has the form I'm gonna expand it see here the username is test and the password it is test and you can find different types of option here different sort of information here okay different types of things you can find different as you, you know even you can find the host see so the hacker can find the URL you visited and he can also capture the username and password from this one okay so this is kind of scary you know so you know as you can see here next time when you are going to access a free Wi-Fi okay next time when you try to connect a free Wi-Fi think before that okay is it secure you might found you know you may found you may find the free Wi-Fi in uh, public park uh, bus station train station airport library and even even in you know uh, some offices you know different 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 uh, places may have a free Wi-Fi like this but not every free Wi-Fi is secure even if even the Wi-Fi is free you know who knows uh, who who is also connected you know a, a, a hacker might be uh, connected to that network also he, he can also uh, capture everything you you have been sending through the free Wi-Fi even that's that's the that's the Wi-Fi he or C did not uh, create so you have to be secure about that all right now take my advice guys do not ever connect it connect to free Wi-Fi before you know before uh, ensuring that that Wi-Fi is safe okay but there is no such way to uh, ensure that the wi free Wi-Fi is safe at all because you don't know you know now, if you like this video, share this video to your friends and your hacking partner and leave a comment down below. Nice only. Put some requests if you got any. Like this video, okay? Do not, do not forget to watch my other video as well. And also, I'm thinking of creating video for Python programming or web development. Comment down below which shall I do first. And do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done yet, okay? 
see you guys next time